better not call me a little ass boy. And I started laughing. <laughs> so you think LeBron knows who I am? He knows exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that one wouldn't stick. I prefer to go by go by guard dog. Did you live in a van at one point? Buy a short bus for a hundred dollars, <laughs> and that just got my wheels spinning. I'm like, bro, for a hundred dollars, you could put a couch in there. You put whatever you want. I was about to transfer to Alabama. It was like right when Tua came in, they thought Jalen was gonna leave. Just My favorite quarterback to watch on film is Jameis Winston. You on a threesome? You on a threesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we were 8-0. Oh. We were losing 10-7 to seven at halftime. We got booed off the field <laughs> so hard, bro. Yeah. We're out here playing football. Yeah. On grass in the sunshine, like At age of what are we talking about? Like this, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. bro, I met oh, Uncle Rico heading out to LA. He said, "Oh man, you get out to LA, hit me up. I got some crazy friends." Welcome back to The Rush. My name is Max Crosby. I got my brothers, Brogan Roback, Darian Terrell. And we got a very special guest today, the guard dog himself, Gardner Minshew. Uh, a little yeah. clap, round of applause. Yes. Yes. That's a better he clap said, than uh, Colby got. He said hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, tobacco like twice a year, dude. So it's like, it's lit. What's so it's so lit. Lit. Here, <laughs> It had me buzzing, dude. <laughs> yes. yeah. It wouldn't be right, though. This yeah. is what we do. Go. Got a big Browns fan over here. So, yeah, he's... Dog pound. Yeah. Dog pound. Yeah. 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 At least he shows a little respect. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. You got to respect them. Yeah, I mean, their fans are... Yeah. The the Puka Wait. ate you up. What's up with yeah. the elf? The elf on the field... Come on, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that I, is, I uh, didn't, where did that come from? I didn't vote for it. I was so. going like, to say, that's a new... Y'all robbed like that man from Keebler's. <laughs> yeah. Took him out of his tree home, you know? <laughs> the Keebler. It was that not is, my vote, so dang. that's all I can say. What is the history of the Keebler, though? Where did that come from? <laughs> bro, I don't know. Right. Like a, He's Brownie the Elf, I think. Like, Brownie you the you Elf. Got, you got sick of the dog, and then so they incorporated the Elf. Yeah. So what is it? The helmet's not even brown. That's what's crazy, you know It's a brown The oranges. I know, and I'm, I'm, being I'm glad about it, to be honest. Yeah. That doesn't make much sense to me, so Cleveland, what are the, what's a brown? A so dog, it, was back a when, it was back when TV was like black and white, so like it didn't matter. <laughs> brown was, <laughs> like orange was cheaper to print than brown <laughs> yeah. on helmets and uniforms, yeah. so they just told everybody. You got a deal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That makes sense. But that's why everybody goes to the games, because you had to see it in person. Yeah. So that's why like still to this day, like their fan base is like, uh, like that. It was a business decision. Like that. Yeah. Rabbit. Rabbit. But you heard him say, like that. Yeah. Like that. Believe one. No, yeah. That's a Midwest thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. Believe one. It is. Believe one. Football and just sports, I feel like, just runs so much thicker yeah, I mean, through the Midwest. Yeah. You were in there? Yeah, you have way less options of, like, stuff to do. Exactly. You know? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. you're doing in Buffalo. No, nah, exactly. You're not doing anything in Buffalo besides yeah. going to a Bills game, lighting shoveling a table your driveway. on fire. Yeah. Jumping at for real, rooms. yeah, hundred percent. And shoveling your drive. What was what was Indy like? What was the environment there? I know their fans are legit. Dude, everybody was so nice. Like, they were great. Like when you're winning and stuff, like they're cheering. Like everybody's into it. But then you lose, and you're like, man, y'all tried really hard, and that's nice. <laughs> you know, like they were yeah. just so nice about it. So it's not know? like Philly. You're not getting berated. Definitely not storm. like Philly. Nah, yeah, Philly's a, nuts, bro. Just laid you down yeah. softly. At yeah. least you tried. No, nah, they were, you know. It's like a warm mother's embrace. You know? That's right. What's been your favorite team so far that you've you've been on in the league? The Raiders, yeah, obviously, go, dude. Right let's answer. Go. No it's, doubt. You gotta get it. What no an doubt. answer! This guy is just. He's here for it. Yeah. Dude, easily. I love that. It's like yeah. In Vegas. Yeah. yeah. What was it like when you when you had that decision, the call to go come here to Vegas to join the Raiders? Was it a no-brainer for you? Dude, so that was like, it was my first option when we were stacking it up. I think I was their first option. Like, as soon as free agency started, we made the call, and that was it, man. Oh, yeah. That was, couldn't yeah. have been easier. Couldn't have been more excited. Like, nah, that's no. it. That's got to be nice for you, like, as a player. You don't even have to worry about it. You know where you're going. Like, Absolutely. Now it's like, I can just focus on playing. 100%. That's a, yeah, it was so nice. So much less stress than, like, the year before. You know, more uncertainty, but, uh, nah, just fired up, dude. Did Indy make a run, or was that kind of... Yeah, it was basically, a... like, you know, whatever you get, like, bring it back to us. If we can match it, we can match it. Because uh, I have great relationships there. Like, the people in that building were, like, awesome. I think that's why we were, like, successful this past year. Like, just dudes and everybody pulling in the same direction. 
Yeah. Um, which is a lot of like what I feel here too, you know. Yeah. For real. Who's that head coach over there again? Steichen. Shane Steichen. He's the real deal, right? Yes, that's my guy. So that's why I came with him from Philly. And what was it for you? What was it like being around um, Anthony Richardson? Do you think his future is bright in this league? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he's got it, man. Everything, like obviously everybody sees all the physical stuff. Like he's like big, he's strong, but he's also like super quick and like gets the ball out fast. Like which a lot of big guys are kind of longer. Like no, he's like super quick. RPO stuff's crazy. Um, and also, like, he wants it. Like, he asks the right questions. He's in meetings, like, trying to learn. Yeah. Um, and I think that's half of it with anybody. Like, Definitely. what guys, like, really want to improve, want to figure out what they're weak at to be able to address it. Like, I think a lot of guys try to avoid that and just end up never really improving. But I think he has the right mindset. And, uh, I like, he won't have a bigger fan than me. Um, and, man, he's so excited to get back into it now. You know that, like, I think that hunger, that spark, uh, you know, is even, you know, more so than it was. Like, I, I'm excited to see how he goes into OTAs and, you know, really leads the team and all. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. He's got all the ability. I mean, you watch him, he's freakish. Yeah. And like Dude, you said, he's not a big windy. Like, he launches quick. that shit quick. It's like you push, like, he pulls it back and then you push fast forward. It just, <laughs> it just <laughs> you know, lasers gone. it across it's the like, Next thing you know, it's on the other field about yeah. 85 yards away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, no, he's definitely got all the tools. It's going to be yeah. interesting to see how that. Oh, that whole deal shakes up. Oh. And dude, the guy turned 21 like last summer. Like, crazy. he couldn't even he's drink. He's drafted, dude. No, like, what the heck? No. no, it was it even a celebration. Uh, no. yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> nah, dude, he's, uh, he's got it. <laughs> There's other things. I'm curious because so I got when I played in Cleveland, I got to play with a guy named Drew Stanton. Too. Uh, he was brought to a lot of teams because so he's around. Four former first overall draft picks, like quarterbacks, right? So Carson Palmer, Andrew Luck, Baker. Um, I'm missing one. I think it, if I'd say Carson Palmer, I don't know. But there's another one. Oh, Matt Stafford. Um, so to you, you're, you've proven you can play in this league and be a starter. You proved it again last year. Thank I you. think you belong as well. Just curious, though, do you feel like now the Raiders, it's kind of looking like they might take a quarterback in the first round, right? So do you feel like teams bring you in because you, 1A, are great for the room? and be like just a great role model leader? Like how do you take that and also still wanting to put your imprint and being a starter? Whatever I gotta do to keep a job, you know what I'm saying? Amen. Whatever helps get me in the building, like I'll help anybody. Like I want everybody to do well. Like to me, it's really not a competition between us. Like I'm against me, I'm trying to be the best I can be. So it's really irrelevant what you do. So I want you to do the best you can cause that's more fun for everybody, Amen. you Amen. know? So I think, um, man, I'm down to help anybody. Um, but obviously, I, I believe that I can play. I want to play. I want to win. Um, and I think, you know, hopefully I have opportunities to do that. Amen. No doubt. No doubt. Well, coming from uh, – obviously, you started in Jacksonville. We played when we were rookies. Um, you were there for a couple of years. What was that experience like? And, you know, you were putting up legitimate numbers. Like, you came out – there was no other rookie quarterback that put up numbers like that. But for some reason, it felt like people are sleeping on you for, you know, whatever reason. Well, how did that whole situation shake down? Did you want to stay there um, for the long run, or did you kind of know that they were trying to bring somebody else in? Uh, no, I kind of knew. Um, like, Trevor was coming out, you know, they had the first pick. Yeah. If you have the first pick, you're probably, you know, not settled at the quarterback position generally. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know so, generally, yeah. Fair you know, I get fair it. Take. You know, we were 1-15. No, no. in 15. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, but, no, I love Jacksonville. I thought it was great. Um, once Trevor was kind of coming, I think it was better for both sides to get out. Yeah. Um, but nah, shoot, I love Jacksonville. I'd have still been living on the beach, you know? Oh shoot. yeah. They have beaches there? Yeah, dude, yeah. that's the, that's the bit. good thing about it. That's what like, you know, there's Jacksonville. Mm. Sketchy. Yeah, but you, Sketchy. out of the beach, dude, you live at the beach. Yeah. And only drive 30 minutes into work. Like that was incredible. That's yeah. Nice. No, I loved it out there. Honestly, like it was a great place to live. Did you live in a van at one point? Uh, I lived in a bus at one point, and then I lived in a van. Okay. What's up with that? Uh, dude, so honestly, when I was in high school, somebody told me that they had an opportunity to buy a short bus for $100. <laughs> and that just got my wheels spinning. I'm like, bro, for $100, you could put a couch in there. You put whatever you want. Just drive it around everywhere okay. for nothing, you know? So it's been a dream of mine for a long time. And then I had the uh, opportunity on GovDeals.com to buy a uh, used prison bus. <laughs> Uh, 2002 Chevy Express, just a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Okay. And uh, I was able to turn it 
uh, this guy named Larry in Mendenhall, Mississippi, was able to <laughs> change it out in his uh, it was at, in his uh, driveway in Mendenhall, Mississippi. He built it out for me. And it was awesome, man. I, I lived in that for a little while. Um, and now I got a van. It's my like forever van, you know. Yeah. I really went all out and did it the right way. Um, so it actually gets up here Sunday, man. So it's uh, it's been it's been kind of crazy being away from it for this long, but um, yeah, excited to get the van back. Separation anxiety. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's home. Um, you know, always a safe spot there. Um, but yeah, Hell excited yeah. to get it. Uh, you're cool. not gonna live in the van though, right? You're getting a home. Just, in Vegas. Where are you gonna park? I'm getting a home. Okay. Good. I'm getting a home, but like also the home, if it's not ready yet, like I'll split time between the hotel and the van. You know, you get cooped up. Like I, yeah. I get cooped up in like hotels and stuff. Yeah. So we'll see. Probably do some, you know, a good mix. Hell yeah. But yeah. like, you know, when I was in Philly in OTAs, I'd just park in the parking lot. I'd sleep there go in get snacks they got a bathroom hot shower yeah well, you know what i'm saying i go sneak in the weight room get some stretching in like yeah, this is real it's pretty great dude yeah. and then like you know thursday afternoon i cruise out you know go camp for a couple of days bring it on back so fresh so clean ready to go for another week of otas that's yeah. incredible. It yeah. is incredible. That's serious. Yeah. In Vegas, like yeah. out here, oh, yeah. I've already you've been, got circled. I've, yeah, I've already been out a few of the spots around Vegas, and then now I'm going to slowly expand my, you know, radius or uh, <laughs> circumference, that is, I believe. But, um, yeah, get out to Utah, hopefully. Uh, California is there. I went to Arizona the other day. Oh, saw yeah. some naked people at a hot spring. Lucky. You didn't see them. Oh, okay. um, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far. Um, I wouldn't go that far, but, uh, you know, some areolas and, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Well, what's better than that? So yeah. what's a weekend look like for Gardner then when you have Thursday and you're going camping? Like, what does that entail for you? Uh, dude, I'll just load up with food. You know, that's huge. You know, yeah. you got to stay, you know, nutritioned while you're out on the road. Be yes. ready to show back up. Uh, throw my guitar, get some, some good books going and do some hikes, you know, and that's kind of, that's kind of it, man. Yeah. Um, you're not a video just, game guy, are you? I'm not a video game guy, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I like being outside. That's oh, yeah. dope. And you do but, all these trips, like, solo? Uh, some, you know. Some got a girlfriend that go with me sometimes. Uh, I've had buddies that have gone with me, you know. So oh, yeah. mix it up. Oh, um, yeah. It's time for both. Yeah. Where did, where did you get that from? Where, when did that start? Have you always kind of been like that, like an adventurous renaissance man kind of oh thing. shoot i don't know about that dude uh i think i always just kind of bounced around you know so anytime i felt like i had more stuff than i could fit in my car i'd get a little freaked out you know what i'm saying like i can't just dip out of here you yeah, know yeah. uh so being able to you know have like a mobile home like that is um you know it just works for me you know, hell so. yeah what's a better movie fast times or 16 candles fast times yeah okay yeah yeah and then it's fucking Spicoli. Spicoli all day. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's my favorite movie, so I knew you'd, yeah. you'd have to appreciate it. Some cool brew, some tasty weight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. The girls, they stay the same age. Oh, jeez. Well, that's Days that's and a Fuse. Line. That's a hell of a line. Days and Fuse. Days yeah. and Fuse, yeah. yeah, yeah, green yeah. Green Look at me. That's a lot. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey. Uh, green lights. Yeah. Green lights. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. My same brother day. said that when you signed. He's like, <laughs> you guys went from, uh, <laughs> what did he say? Uh, so we had you went from George Clooney. He was talking about Jimmy uh, Garoppolo, and he's like, "No, you guys got Matthew McConaughey. It's incredible." That's yeah. not too far off. Yeah. You know, you gave me that energy immediately. Sheesh. Uncle Rico. Thank you. Uncle that was a big Rico. thing for a while when Dude. you came out of Washington. Yeah, State. bro. I met oh. Uncle Rico. It was electric, Stop, bro. They brought the van good. down. We did a whole like ESPN segment in Jacksonville. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. It was hilarious, bro. That's amazing. And I was talking to him about like road tripping and stuff, man. I'm like, "Hey, Uncle Rico, like, I'm about to take this road trip, you know, out of the season." Heading out to L.A. He said, oh, man, you get out to L.A., hit me up. I got some crazy friends. <laughs> I said, <"Whoa." laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Yes. He started talking about how he used to road trip in the 90s, man. What? You know, Imagine. Uncle Rico. Is that yeah. what you addressed him by? Just Uncle Rico? Or is he yeah, just uncle. uncle you did know. you hit him up? Unk. Unk. Yeah. Yeah, Unk. Reek. Keep it short. Did you Rico, hit him up when yeah. he went out there? I didn't, dude. I was afraid of the crazy friends, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I got enough crazy friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good Before Mike and the boys c come leaving your van. And yeah, yeah. Dirty Mike and the boys. Dirty uh, Mike and the boys. Set yeah. up a soup kitchen on me. Yeah, yes. good brother. Never want that. No sir. Never want the soup kitchen. That As you guys know, I love to travel. You know, during the season, I'm in all different cities, all across the globe. And the number one thing that needs to be with me is this Manscaped lawnmower trimmer. The 3.0, the 4.0, and the 5.0 keeps me on point. Keeps me light on my feet. 
keeps me agile. Call them what you want. Knee knockers, golden nuggets, thigh slappers, etc. But our friends at Manscaped refer to them as the boys. Not every man has children, but every man is responsible for their two boys below the waist. The boys need love too. So join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com and use code RUSH for 20% off plus free shipping. Introducing the Lawnmower family, including the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, the 4.0 Pro, and the 5.0 Ultra. Three ball trimmers? Isn't that awesome? The boys need love too. These trimmers come with a travel case and even a travel lock feature to avoid any accidental powering and weird looks in the airport. This right here is on the cutting edge of cutting pubes. Upgrade your ball trimmer and your life will follow. 20% off plus free shipping with the code RUSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code RUSH at manscaped.com. For the best your boys have ever looked, trust Manscaped. The, the Raiders were your first choice. At, how, at what point did you think, like, oh, we gotta, I got to talk to Max? But you guys had the little ass boy. No, I knew it was coming, man. I know, you know, <laughs> like we were both on, we were on those tracks, and yeah. there was a collision course coming one way or another. <laughs> I was looking forward to it, yeah. for real. Yeah, you know, you always like, you know, you like the guys that talk shit and you know have fun and like compete. You know, yeah. that's a, like how I felt. Like I'm not gonna talk back because that didn't seem like a good idea for me at the time. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, was definitely fired up to get out here and uh, you know meet him, man. It's yeah. been super nice. It's yeah, been, the, the, the line it's was. It's been so surprising. He's just so angry. He's just he's so, angry. so yeah. mad. Yeah. Play the clip on the episode, but I, I need a clarification. There was a, a clip of you t explaining me being angry, and you're, it's, you're like, but he's really not that angry. And then what did you say at the end? You said, huh? uh, what was your last comment? Uh, I want you to break that one down for us. Uh, kept calling me a little guy, and I was like, I'm a little out here, but not all the time. <laughs> yeah, we need to know yeah, why. We need clarification. <laughs> what is going uh, on? Uh, that just is what it is. <laughs> yeah. is what it, that's open to interpretation. Yeah, hell 100%, yeah. You just leave it what it is. <laughs> it just is what yeah. it is. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. No, it's, it's <laughs> that is Bro, too funny. My group chat, like my cousins and, and brother and them, and all, they're all we're all in this huge group chat, yeah. and uh, usually like the people I get to beef with, like the Mahomes and. You know, different guys, mm -hmm. Russell Wilson and shit. They're like, yeah, f them. <laughs> and then with you, everyone is like, I think I like him even more. <laughs> like, 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 like him more than you. Really like, well. <laughs> awesome. Everyone's saying the same shit. I'm like, oh, I don't man. even know how to take this. I'm like, yeah. I feel like an asshole now. I have no idea we're mic'd up. And this clip goes out. I'm like, what? I'm oh, like, man. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I felt too when I saw it. I'm like, what the heck? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Guns blazing, close. and you were so just even keeled even explaining keeled. on the sidelines, yeah. which is so. Well, Classic. It was, it was actually a little bit later when we were beating their ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now your teammates, now you can't fight yeah. each other. Yeah, we're not fighting. I've actually met like a lot of the like Raiders like legends, which mm -hmm. has kind of been cool. Yeah. Uh met mm -hmm. Fred Boletnikov one time. Bro, yeah. the Dude, best. So sick. The best. Dude, just got tore up with him and Mike Leach <laughs> yes. after. Dude, Good. that's what like they were both in there. Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna tell the story. Never mind. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> nah, 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 you gotta some. Nah, yeah. So I saw him. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. He like everybody was pretty tore up at that time. And my dad, he's like kind of a big guy, and he thought my dad was like a coach or something. He's like, "Hey, coach, how you doing? I'm I'm good. Fred, how you doing, man? He's like, I'm good. He said, you talked to Jim lately? He said, uh, Jim. He said, yeah, Jim Brown, coach. You talked to Jim Brown? He's like, no, nah, I haven't talked to Jim Brown lately. He said, well, next time you talk to Jim Brown, you tell him Fred Blitnikoff said hello. My dad said, you know what? I will next time I talk to Jim Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so, casual. so casual. Like, your dad's probably just lost. Like, what is he that? Like, he played it he's off. like, you well, know what? I, definitely. Next time I see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should run into The real other. question yeah. is, did he ever get to see Jim Brown? Huh? Your pops? Did you ever get to see? There's him? no chance. He'll n no, that's like <laughs> not. A, that's like that's not in the realm. That'll yeah. never be possibility. A uh, I met Ray Guy one time at a Hooters in Mississippi. <laughs> yes. That was great. Saw Kenny Stabler. Met him oh. at an Alabama spring game. The snake. So he's like, you know, yeah. role model for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just an electric fellow all around. So yeah, man. I feel like it's uh, it's been a long time coming, but you know, I feel like Raiders been in my my path yeah know? that's that's definitely something you'll you'll recognize every training camp practice you'll just see legends just strong yeah. through it. charles woodson george atkinson's howie longs 
Mm. They they come around all the time. That's so awesome. Yeah, you need to meet Richie Incognito. He's yeah. the he's the one guy I want you to meet. Heard that. He's he's a one lot of people. Kind. Yeah. He's one of a kind. Is it it's yeah. probably not like that at other teams throughout the league. I'm sure some teams have great like I call them alumni. I don't know yeah. Any, yeah. any other way to put it, but like in the league it's different. I feel like they don't come around as much, but like you said, anytime we go to the games, they are on the sidelines, warm up, hu- hugging the guys, dabbing Multiple them up. Multiple gold jackets like, out there. Yeah. 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 Has really. it been like that in any of the other teams you've been at? Um, not as much as I'd say here. Um, yeah. You know, like in Indy, they had some guys that were generally around. Um, but no, nothing like this. I mean, this place has so much history and like, you know, rich history of like being good, yep. you know, that they got those dudes. How about um, Pat McAfee? You ever show face there? Oh yeah. Saw Pat McAfee. He's always around. Dude. He's a great yeah. dude. He's a know? legend. Yeah. Bro, killing, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. killing it. Yeah. Killing it. Like, killing good Lord. It, the pinnacle of this. Yeah. Bro. He's, yeah. No, he's, he's got a setup it. out of there and like in the farms of Indy, you know, and just, yes. yeah, no, he's having a good time. You mentioned, but, uh, Mike Leach. Rest in peace. Legend. Legend. Rest in peace. Um, you guys have very similar outlooks, I feel like, on, on life, just from an outsider's pr- perspective. Um, what was it like playing for Mike? What did you learn from him? Um, and do you agree you guys are very similar? Oh, uh, man. I hope so. That was pretty cool. Um, he's just one of the most, like, genuine people I've ever been around. Like, it was always going to be him, yep. whether you like it, whether you didn't, whether you were Mr. AD, whether you're a janitor. He'll talk to anybody like everybody like gets treated the same yep. and i think that was one of the best lessons i learned from him um you know part of it's just you know he might be a little oblivious you know to whoever's around but yeah, like yeah. that's just how he's you know he treats everybody the same <coughs> i thought that was really cool definitely that's dope. definitely i know you started at east carolina uh and then transferred to washington state uh, what was what was the reasoning for you leaving there yeah so actually out of high school i walked on at troy okay. um didn't get put on a scholarship there i went to junior college in mississippi Okay. Won a national championship, turn up Northwest Mississippi Community College, rain game. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's That's right. Hell Had two yeah. offers Hell to yeah. Buffalo and East Carolina. Okay. Buffalo Mac didn't sound Buffalo didn't sound fun. You didn't want to so. come in the Mac and hang out with the boys? Nah, a little chilly. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's also a guy named Tyree Jackson up there. I know Tyree yeah. very well. Uh, yeah. Set of a tight end. He you is. know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. telling him he needs to play that for years. Philly, no, I'm I just kidding. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. Y'all were in Philly together. Yeah. He was a beast he came yeah. to eastern he in a recruiting because i played quarterback as well and he, I, so our coach was like hey go hang f- with him we like yeah him. he was like a freshman yeah. six seven huge bro. mutant yeah mutant. no he's yeah. dude and he's like that at tight end he's still six seven still runs a four or five yes. unbelievable sorry i can't be blowing up tyree like this like, we, <laughs> yeah, gotta, we gotta yeah, move yeah. on we'll bring him back down yeah fuck you yeah because otherwise <laughs> he'd have been moved to tight end a long time ago if i went to buffalo then but uh <laughs> but now, man, yeah i went to ecu um actually so was about to transfer to alabama yeah. and uh they hit me up it was like right when tua came in they thought Jalen was gonna leave um and it was kind of set up as like a ga gig down the road you know get into coaching this is what, what i kind of wanted to do um but then it looked like Jalen was staying and I was never going to get to play. I was like, F that, dude, I want to play. Yeah. Mike Leach hit me up. He said, you want to lead the country in passing? <laughs> Thumbs up. Let's yeah. ride. Let's ride. And then that's you what, did. That's what we did. Yep. So that's amazing. amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Bro. He's probably one of like the best personalities coaches college football's ever seen. Oh, like 100%. you see his press conferences, you hear him talk. That's him all the time, though. Like there would literally be times we'd be late to meetings. I mean, late to the practice because he's taking too long in the meetings. Like, he's talking. Like, we had rules, like, as quarterbacks. Like, he would sit there on the screen. Like, if he started telling a story, everybody had to turn away from him. So, like, he wouldn't engage because if he had an audience, he'd <laughs> keep telling stories the whole time. Yeah. So, like, around. nobody could look at him. <laughs> and then, like, we'd have, like, a look where everybody look around, ready, and we'd all just stand up and go. And then yeah. he'd just be like, well, I guess it's time to go. Man, we go out to practice. <laughs> he was yeah. like that all the time. Yeah, all the time. What's dude. your favorite, yeah. like your funniest moment or story of Mike Leach? There was this one really funny time, dude. We were at the uh, like college football awards, and we're sitting there. My award goes first. It's like a two-hour show, and there's like a they're hosting a thing at the Bruce Chris across the street open bar afterwards. My award goes first. Didn't win. He said, "Hey, I'm gonna go warm up the bar." Good God. Like two hours, has a two hour head start. So he's already over there. We get back over there after the show and uh, like we're sitting around talking. I got my family there, my mom, my sisters, got this girl I was trying to impress, you know. (laughs) And uh, now we're sitting there and he's talking. He's talking about the girls at Washington State. He's like, they, you know, they're Scandinavian. They don't get cold. You see them 30 degrees wearing scores, certs, not a, not a goose pimple on. (laughs) 
He said they're just walking, and dude, he's like going on this story about the girls watching today, and then like he forgets I'm there, and he just looks at me. He's like, wait, 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 this guy, this guy's got it so good. He goes up to girls, you want a threesome? You want a threesome? Let's go. And dude, I just feel everybody at the table look at me, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> the girl you're impressed, the girl you're impressing is maybe impressed even more. Yeah, yeah. no, I think it worked to my advantage ultimately. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, just uh, so Mike hilarious. Leach, the ultimate wingman, is what yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, just the ultimate, just yeah. the lob. Just lob. <laughs> he lob is who city. we thought he was. Yeah, no, like yes. man, electric, Even so much better. fun. Love that's that. awesome, bro. That's awesome. Bro. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> so, what is in your, you know, in your opinion, what's what do you think is your favorite offense you played in? Um, man, I loved one of the biggest things between a quarterback and an OC is just being on the same page, understanding why a certain play is getting called, what our issues are with that play. So I think the communication was so tight with Shane these last few years, like that was awesome. I love that. Yeah. Uh, but personally, I'm really excited to get back in the West coast because West coast, regardless of coverage, you're going one, two, three, four, five yeah. progression, progression. Somebody will be open through the field. And I think that's yeah. something I do well, is kind of process quickly and get through reads. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get back into that. And, um, yeah, just get the West Coast scene going again. No doubt. Yeah, Jimmy, when he first signed, he said the same thing. He's like, in that system, the Shanahan you know, tree, it's all about timing. You're not sitting that's there. Right. It's reacting. Right, if this go yeah, you're reacting to what they're giving you. So, no, I mean, that system has been proven over and over and over yeah. again that it's, you know, one of the best in, you know, in football. So. It's exciting, bro. Yeah, it's exciting. Fired up, dude. You yeah. Run shit. It's Heck yeah, fun. you'll see it soon, brother. Yeah, and uh, it'll be awesome to see it. You're like an Aaron Rodgers doppelganger yeah, right that's now. The word. Okay, is that the word? That's the word, doppelganger. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's a compliment because I think he's the oh, greatest thank quarterback. You. No, I got you. Time. But he's yeah, yeah. He's but I agree. That yeah. being said, tr I'm gonna transition to why I said that. But uh, he had a he had a great career in Green Bay with Devontae. What have you been able to talk with Devonte since you've been here? Have you been able to throw to him, or just what's the excitement being able to play with a guy like that? Yeah, no, I don't think I've been able to be around somebody like that. You know, to have like a, you know, he is, he's that guy. You yeah. know, what I'm saying if he's one on one, you need to throw it to him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like if, if you get that, yeah. like get him the ball. Yeah. Um, and man, just talking to him, how he approaches his game, how he approaches like his preparation. Uh, to see a guy that takes like takes that seriously, that's like one of the reasons I respect Max here so much. Like you appreciate guys that do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely one of those guys. And uh, I'm excited to learn from him, you know. I um, was actually talking to him today. Like, he's mentoring little Trey Tucker in there, you know, talking to him about off-season training, about, yep, yep. you know, as we get into OTAs. Like, man, that, like, you know, wealth of knowledge, that's invaluable. So, like, to be able to get in with that, uh, man, I'm so excited. Best receiver, obviously excluding Devontae. I haven't played with him yet, but who do you think is the best receiver you've played with? Uh, dude, A.J. Brown in Philly was crazy crazy dude like yeah. yeah just so freaky would run like he trusts his hands so much he runs through everything has a chance to catch and run everything his body control playing the ball in the air is dumb like another guy if it's one-on-one -on -one, throw it you yeah. know um yeah he's incredible yeah he was a grown-ass man coming out of college I, he was at exos i threw him had, with the gauntlet yeah <laughs> he was training for the combine he dropped one ball he went through the gauntlet. Him and DK. Yeah. yeah. Two mutants. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, you were training out there yeah, at yeah. the time. How's that excellent? And we were throwing the ball to him. He dropped one after doing a million times and he grabbed the ball, threw it so far. He threw it over the bleachers and then he tried to jump the fence and wiped out and grabbed it. But he came back and he literally looked at us and we we're going to be done. And he said, no one's moving until I go through this five more times and we don't drop the ball. That's, like, yeah. Mutant. No, he's about it, dude. Fucking mentality. Yeah, yeah. it's because he's from Mississippi. Yeah, probably. Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Probably. This dude. I mean, him and DK standing next to each other when they're yeah. weird actions. I'm like, these yeah. look like Demarcus yeah. Ware. They used to play yeah. against each Robert other in Max. high school, dude. That was so sick. Really? It's crazy. Oh, bro, it would be crazy. Like when I'm, they play like DB across from each other, and like just go at it all. Like unbelievable. Like yeah. Freak shows. The bro. best. Yeah. Freak shows. It's the only game they can That's remember dope. all year. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're assuming you're a huge you said Aaron Rodgers is the greatest of all time in your opinion? I think he's the best, yeah. He's the best. I think like Tom's had the best career, you know what I'm saying? Most accomplished for sure. Yeah. Um but dude, Rodgers is just sick, man. Yeah. yeah. He's got it like 
Yeah, he's different. He, yeah, he and now, like, every he, show he comes on, show. Show. Yeah. he's the biggest Rogers, Look LeBron. Those are he the just gets the biggest. Dude, I think I, so. I think it's a very similar argument that I have with LeBron and Jordan. Like Jordan, better career. Yeah, I get like 100 percent oh, more accomplished, is, but damn, LeBron was a better player. I shouldn't even have said like, that's like okay with me. You're you're not a Brett Favre. Oh, I like Brett Favre for sure. Okay, um, dude, gunslinger, super yeah. sick. Um, yeah, he actually coached against me in high school. Okay. Always beat him, obviously. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, Brett Favre was sick for yeah, sure. Legend. You, usually, I talk to him. Obviously, he's a quarterback. You talk to a lot of quarterbacks, and a lot of them say Brett Favre. Yeah. Just because of his mentality and how yeah. he was not scared of anything. No. He's making every throw. He's like, no. I he would do some of the way. wildest stuff, dude. Wildest shit ever. Yeah. He did not care. You speaking of mostly work. Yeah. yeah mostly. mostly. <laughs> he also might throw thirty-five <laughs> interceptions, but it's all worth it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you just said everyone mentions Brett Favre. Another guy who loved Brett Favre that I got to play with was Baker. But one thing people used to say, I feel like when you were in Jacksonville, I don't know how much you listened to that shit, but they'd be like, he's a poor man's Baker. And did that shit just piss you off? Uh, I don't really hear it, dude. I'm not on social media. I don't watch TV for real. Yeah. Um, so, like, unless somebody, like, sees me on the street, like, hey, you're a poor man's Baker. <laughs> like, I don't hear it, you know? Like, yeah. thanks. <laughs> thanks. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, cool. I just hate yeah. when they say we'll poor man right. something all the time, and I'm yeah, like. Yeah, that's never great. Yeah. Two different <laughs> players. That's <laughs> never great. Two but at least, hey, at least they're talking about you. You must be doing something right, 100%. you know? You've came a long way. Something really right or really wrong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's all right. The good ways yeah. outweighs the bad. Who's your favorite quarterback that you've gotten to battle against in the NFL? I don't know. I'd never like see it as like a quarterback on quarterback thing. Like, For sure. like we're never on the field, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I always see it as defensive guys, which is funny. Like, I'd always say like two of the guys like I really like. I like going against Max and Christian Wilkins because okay. they both like like go crazy, like crazy hard, and talk shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just like the most fun of like, you know, it, it brings out like the best in everybody. I Definitely. feel like <laughs> so. Yeah, it's kind of funny how that all works. Yeah. On one building. It's going to yeah. be classic. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be classic. Well, I, already, I already know his expectations. Just curious, like, what are your expectations coming in to Vegas with this team, a new, a newly ran team under AP, who we had the privilege of doing a live show with during mm -hmm. Super Bowl week, and he made me want to get up out of my chair and <laughs> strap up all yeah. over again. Like, So for you, what is the expectation in your mind for this team? Yeah. Uh, well, first with AP, like, everything I've heard is – Incredible, like couldn't get better reviews. Like it doesn't even sound real. Yeah. Uh, being around him a little bit <laughs> seems legit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is yeah. really exciting. Yep. Um, and man, just being around the guys in the building, like everybody is on the same page. Everybody just wants to get better. Everybody wants to win. And I think when you do that, I think you got a chance. Like no matter what you got going on, no matter who's like on the roster, if everybody's pulling in the same direction, I think you got a good chance, man. Yeah. And fortunately, I think we also have some dudes on the roster. You know, so. <laughs> I think we got to bring it together in OTA's camp, grind, which I know we will. And, man, I'll, I'll take our chances, you know. 100%. 100%. How was that first interaction with AP? Did he give you a call when you first signed? Or how did uh, that go? No, nah, was, dude, in the building, like, saw him out on the field, you know, classic bro hug, you know, <laughs> yeah. fired up, you know. Yes. We were both bouncing a little bit. Yes. Um, but, yeah, just you can feel the energy, man, like, and – yeah, really, really excited to get after it with them. Hell yeah. You go to a new team, you get you get to look at the uh, you get to look at the schedule, right? Different team, different divisions, et cetera. Is there something that you get to? <laughs> is there something? <laughs> is there a team right now that you saw on the schedule and you have it circled, where you're just you're pumped to play? Uh, I haven't looked at the schedule, dude. For really? real? Yeah. Um, you know, we'll show up and play. Okay. Okay. You know, that's what, like we got to get better. Sure. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll start looking at that towards the summer. Right. Uh, but I, I really got no clue, man. Um, it's all about us. That's it, bro. Right that's it. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. we got our new segment. We call it Mount Rush. Cool. Obviously, this is, is this water up for grabs. Yeah, what? It's, it's all, all yours. All right. You all can put yours. that down, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. You right. just, it just <laughs> give felt, me it. It just felt like, cool, dude. Yeah, I got you. All right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, give yourself a purple tunnel over there. <laughs> yeah, I got you. It's all time. It's for the look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're killing the look. Thanks. Oh, really 100%. quick, how did you come up with the mustache, the long hair? Like, uh, so the mustache, it was um, at Washington State actually. I convinced a bunch of us guys to do like the camp mustaches. Yep. Really and nice. so we went away to this place called Lewiston for camp, 
There's no females in Lewis. I was going to say, where is that? So, what state is that? Idaho. Idaho. Lewis in Idaho. It's next to wow. a paper mill. It smells Somewhere like. I'll never be. smells shit. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but good. we're in Lewiston, you know, staying in these dorms, and everybody's just going to practice. So everybody's wow. like, cool. We'll rock these mustaches. And then we move back to Pullman, and like we said, like two weeks left to camp. So it's still mustache time. And everybody <laughs> bailed because, you know. Soccer teams here, you know, <laughs> basketball teams moving yeah, in, you know, volleyball's here. So, like, everybody shaves these crappy mustaches they're doing. Yep. And I'm like, no, F this. I'm doing it longer than anybody. Take a stand. Good. So, I did. And it just kind of stuck. And, um, yeah, trapped me in it for a while, you know. Really didn't have a choice. It was yeah. calling the shots for a bit. And then the long hair, that was probably just out of, um, yeah, laziness, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like going. I get, I'm like a two or three haircut a year person. Damn. Actually, Eddie. Eddie hooked me up today, bro. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah. The, the, mom, the beard line. Yeah. The beard line. Yeah. 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 No, he Shout out to, to Eddie, too. Time. Shout yeah. out to Eddie. He's the best. Eddie the barber. Monster. Eddie, Monster Eddie. Yeah. The, f- the best. He's, got me right. He's the best. He's a great best. guy. Yeah. Absolutely. That's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, to get to our next segment, Mount Rush. Create your own Mount Rushmore. So today we got the greatest gunslinger QBs in football history. Oh, nice. Who is your four on Mount Rushmore? All right, Brett Favre. We talked about it. He's like, 100%. you know, the father of that. Yeah, the godfather, um, for sure. You know what? I, I'm going to throw Kenny Stabler in there, too, man. Like, yes. like gunslinger on the field, but just like as a lifestyle. <laughs> yes. Gunslinger, yeah. lifestyle. <laughs> that that matters. That matters. I put him in there. Um, trying to think, man. I'd say you probably go back to like a Fran Tarkenton. You know what I'm saying? Fran Tarkinson was running a wild, taking all kinds of risks. And then you're digging in the archives. Right and now. then I love this my <laughs> ultimate, I love this my guy. ultimate, like His my fun. favorite quarterback to watch on film. If ever I have a mutual game to watch, it's Jameis Winston. Yeah. Absolutely electric. Yes. Every play is so <laughs> much fun to watch. Yes. yes. Like, bro, that's also another guy. Like, if I could ever play with, like. Everybody says just the best teammate, like, would Ever. be electric you know to be around. Bro, yeah. His year, his last mm-hmm. year in Tampa needs to be Dog studied. Man. It was honestly one of the most incredible. Needs to be studied. That was our cross, like, division. Yeah. So, like, every game I could watch Jameis tape. <laughs> so good, dude. Like, bro, 5,000 yards, 30 plus touchdowns, yeah. 30 plus interceptions. Bro. Just give me that. Give yeah. season. It was I so much. That. I bro, want to watch. Bro, I, I all of their that. games were like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> like they were all like <laughs> such good games. Yes. Like yeah. I, he Dude, translated yeah. into like the J.R. Smith mentality in the NFL. Volume shooter. A shooter shoot. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna shoot my shot. And yeah. he couldn't even see. Pick, Apparently he was blind. Throw. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have LASIK. <laughs> yeah. Was blurred vision. Yeah. Fuck you it. would see him. He'd squint at the video him. board a decent the amount. So. Yeah. He's like this. Nah, I'd love to see him get another shot, dude. I love, he's, oh, he he's like one of my favorites. He will. Hell yeah. He's he still will. in New Orleans, right? No, he's oh, in Cleveland. He's in Cleveland. He's, Cleveland. he's, in Cleveland. he's going to get his shot. He's out sure. there taking snaps in a cardigan, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah awesome, I've seen bro. that. Taking snaps <laughs> with the center of the weight room and shit. I'm like, I fucking So good. This man, he's built for the dog pound. Oh, 100%. For real. I've been begging these dudes. I'm like, we got to get Jameis on the podcast. I just think he'd be. It's gonna be entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything he does, dude. I, like I have like a group of friends. Like we send all the Jameis videos. Like yes. yeah. just Every so single good. One. Dude. It's so it's good. Because it's just he's, he's so genuine with it. And I'm like, That's people don't know if it's like if he's joking, if he's being serious. I'm losing it every time Hilarious, this man opens dude. his mouth. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's, he's funny the best. as hell. The it's best. so crazy you didn't put Aaron on your mount. Dude, he never not. throws picks. He never throws Bro, picks. Bro, for a guy that takes like risks and stuff, he doesn't throw picks. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, it's unbelievable. I don't. I, that's the one thing. Like, I don't know how he does it. To throw in so many tight windows, and like be so creative with his ball placement, to still have by far and away, by far and away, the best touchdown and interception in NFL history. Like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. The it's flick impressive. of the wrist and the angles, the slots, beautiful. beautiful. Yes. No one, uh, the only person. Nobody's got a wrist like Aaron, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Different type of. The, the fact he doesn't have carpal tunnel is impressive. Yeah, you Getting know, some serious RPM. Bro. Yeah, it is. Fuck yeah. Him and Stafford, I think, throw the ball very similar though. Yeah, Stafford's crazy tight. Stafford's on my run. Yeah. Mount Rushmore, 100. percent Yeah, that yeah. dude's throwing from the side. He doesn't get <clears> yeah. enough credit. No, Mahomes he does. came in. I obviously ton of respect for Mahomes, but 
people sleep Stafford's on Stafford. Stafford's been doing that. He's like, been doing that. Yeah. I grew up a Lions fan. Yeah, so now you him. get it. He just, was doing it all the time. Just wasted. Yeah, just wasted. Just no. Just wasted no 10 point. years of all my football fandom. <laughs> yeah. Fucking ruined I feel everything. like he got respect for that, though. A little bit like oh, sitting yeah. somewhere for so long and just being the guy and being mm-hmm. tough as nails. Never yeah. sitting out, quitting, crying. Yeah. None of that. Just Dude, performing. The, the like, best uh, mic'd up of all time. That he, one where he, he like gets hurt. Cleveland. It's like, hey, you're done. Mm-hmm. He's like, I can hand it off. Whatever. You, what do you need? Yeah. I'll go in. Yeah. They go in and win. And throws so, a touchdown. So sick. And, he and he's running celebrate. off. He's like, oh, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That shit was yeah, crazy, best. bro. That was the best. Yeah, that's an all-time Stafford moment. Yeah. yeah that that dude is tough as nails. But he kind of took the Dame Lillard approach where he stayed there and everyone's like, just leave. Yeah. Like, just go somewhere else. And he, yeah. he duked it out, and then it paid off in the end. He ended up nah, getting the ring. He's a Hall cool of Famer scene. now. There's not even a question. Yeah. Not even nah. a question. Dude, he was throwing for 5,000 yards in the season before anybody was sniffing that. Nah, like now nah. the game's changed, right? Like, you for throw real. the ball more. You can't do anything on defense, really, towards the, the receivers or anything. Uh, but he was doing that before it was cool. Yeah. Uh, him, and Drew Brees, him and Drew Brees, man. Talk about just pure, talented throwers. One of the best ever. Yeah. yeah. Made to throw football. Like him, Dan Marino, Aaron Rodgers. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, at the end of the day, dude, who's moving the chains? Who's getting you in the end zone? Like, yeah. that's a, like, you know, there's guys that can do it, handing the ball off 40 times a game, playing some play action game. There's guys that do it, throwing it 50 times and running it themselves. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, that's, you know, I think there's a lot of GMs that don't know that either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About 20 of them. Yeah. At, least. Yeah. at least 20 of them. Yeah. Who's, so obviously, I know you mentioned. Jameis Winston, you know, being your favorite guy to watch. Besides him, who's like your your favorite guy? You know, current starting quarterback that you like to watch? Rogers. Like, Rogers. I, I'd always watch him if they're on. Yeah. Um, see Stafford's the same way. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot of good ones. I do like Joe Burrow a lot. I think he's very like da 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 gets the ball out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like how nice. he I like how he plays. Yeah, Burrow's nice. Do you? Then, but that, then you right. got guys like like for me like watching Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, Lamar. Yeah. Like what am I supposed to do with that? Like, I can't, can't do relate. that. It's, yeah. a, it's a big it's, challenge. It's like telling a kid, hey, go watch LeBron James. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go watch what LeBron James yeah. does. Go be just like do that. that yeah, you just, know, just do that. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck for the Raiders fans that are tuning in. Like, what can you say to them that they can expect from Gardner Minshew? Yeah, dude. Um, kind of how I approach like practice and just every day in the building. I want to get better and I want to have fun. And I think you got to be intentional with those two things. I think you got to look for things to get better. I think you got to be very critical with yourself. You got to have people that are be critical to you. Um, I think a lot of guys are afraid to get coached right now, and like that is one of the biggest blockers for improvement. Yeah. Um, and then having fun, dude. I think you have to be intentional with enjoying the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying these times, like, cause dude, this this is a dream that we're doing. Like, guys, like. Yeah. We're out here playing football yeah. on grass in the sunshine. Like, At age of what are we talking about? Like, this shit, this is awesome. It's a dream. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I mean, I think those two things. I think one of the things that Mike Leach always talked about for a quarterback, he said he wants a guy that can elevate the guys around him. Who can make the guys around him better? Yeah. Um, so, you know, whether – I think that's different, you know, for different guys. I think some guys talking to him, telling him how much you believe in him, loving him up. Some guys you got to rip their ass a little bit. But – Guys that can kind of get the whole unit together and, like, do that, I think that's really, really important. Hell, yeah. yeah. That's just real. I mean, going from good to great, people, you know, it's said over and over, it's cliche, but a really, there's a lot of really good players in the NFL, but the great ones are able to make everybody else around them, you know, a lot better. So, Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's a real thing. And I'm going to throw this in here before we get in the rush mail, but this uh, just as a token of my respect to Gardner Minshew and our hey. little-ass boy, big-ass boy Damn. interaction, <laughs> this is totally not about that, but we uh, we do boxing every Wednesday. And go up to Gardner and say, hey, come in there Wednesday. Let's box. And, bo- and he's like, bro, yeah, I'm f***ing down. <laughs> and I've never had a quarterback even come near me because they know I'm in there what trying the to yeah. scrap. Yeah. And there's, you know, we got some defensive guys, younger dudes, like, you know, trying to prove a point. Gardner didn't even hesitate. And he's like, absolutely, let me know what time, whatever. He comes in there. All of a sudden, you know, we start doing our boxing, and he's kind of circling around around the boxing thing. So I'm looking around. I'm like, I didn't say anything in the moment. I'm like, what's going on here? Something's off. Maybe maybe I misjudged this guy. I go up to him after. I'm like, what happened? He's like, they wouldn't allow me. AJ shut me down. Strength coach. He's like, 
you're not boxing. You're not going in there boxing. And he was so disappointed. Dude, I was, I was like, like the sad kid on the other side yeah. of the fence. Bro. Freaking Shmuel in the striped pajamas over there. Yeah. Just wishing I could be over, you know? Yeah. 100%. He's just circling. I'm yeah. just feeling, I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, There's got to be more to this. There's nah, no, no way he's just avoiding it. Yeah, I've, I've seen what Max is doing. I'm like, okay, all right. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> what do we got? He's just, shadowing me. Yeah, he's scouting me as I'm yeah. going. So no yeah. fear in Gardner yeah. Mitchell. No, he has no fear, and yeah. I respect Sparky. that. I've played him. We played each other multiple times. Giving you a, yeah. the, a war wound on your right arm yeah. and a sack he Looks made me that I missed, and he avoided me. Yeah. Um, so happy somebody else got that sack. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> I still got sack, but somebody else got yeah. it, which is great. So, yeah. so shout out to Adam Butler, wherever yeah. you're at. Yeah. You know, he ended yeah. up cleaning it up for me, but. Garden, oh, you know, wiggled out the way. I think I tiger scratched you on your right yeah. arm. He's got a nice uh, war scar. wound. We'll get that on camera, like you know, yeah. after. But for sure, uh, yeah, Gardner Minshew is a dog. Gang. So everyone watching, Raider Nation yeah. fans, certified fresh. We got certified, certified fresh, fresh. <laughs> mustache and all. Yes, absolute yeah. legend. All right, first one by Ad- Adila Lavi. I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, what's the greatest nickname you've been given, and why is it Little Ass Boy? Damn. <laughs> why is it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was hoping that one wouldn't stick. Yeah. Honestly, you know, that's one of those you'd like to hear, you know, just a couple times. <laughs> I, prefer, yeah. I prefer to go by, go by Guard Dog. Guard Dog. Ooh, yeah, guard like dog. That. Anybody, you know, yeah. like that. that's kind of the, yeah. So anybody out there, this ID Lava. This is your chance to lobby. Yeah. I like guard, guard dog. dog. Guard dog. <laughs> guard dog. Guard dog. Hey, I know, like you said, you're a LeBron fan. I went to the Lakers game right after the season, um, and I'm I'm standing there. LeBron's about ten feet from me. He's like kind of you know bending over, catching his breath. He peeks to his left and just makes awkward eye contact, and I just kept looking at him. And he's like, "You better not call me a little ass boy." And I started laughing. And I'm like, "What yeah. the fuck?" Uh, it's I trending. Was, I was in shock. I'm Bro. like, LeBron James just spoke to me. I couldn't nervous. believe it, but at the same time, I think you, you know. I think so you think LeBron that. knows who I am? He knows exactly That's who you are. That's crazy. So, <laughs> just so you know, LeBron, LeBron, knows. LeBron, knows. LeBron like, knows exactly who you yo, are. Yeah, dude, I got a, dude, I got a, like, my best friend back home. We've been plotting since, like, eighth grade. We got to meet LeBron. Like, we're going to make it happen. Good God. We're going to make it happen. He's the king. He is. Thank you. He's the king. He sounds like Puka. <laughs> yeah, my, my glorious, glorious king. king. Yeah. He's my glorious king. I love him. shooting free throws. My yeah. glorious king. My glorious yeah. king. That's actually part of the stipulation now. We choose who to come on the show. You have to be a LeBron fan, so it's yeah. why. Nice. Right. Yeah. You should put reason. that in your bio. Right. Maybe yeah. we'll, you just have to be reconsider. like younger than 40, basically. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah. Pretty, much stand, you know? pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. It's just the old people, right? That yeah. are Jordan yeah. fans, right? Yes. And Max. Or yeah. randomly Max. Yeah. The better ones. No, I'm Team Jordan. John Max. <laughs> okay, Jake Keels says, what's the biggest thing that made you want to become a Raider? Thoughts on the culture and AP? Oh, man. Um, so, honestly, like, for me, it was like looking at places where I could compete and looking for places where we could win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, how we played at the end of the year, you could tell, like, the momentum that this team was building. Like, you could see the roster, and, like, the roster didn't match the record. Like, there's some dudes here. Like, this is, like, you know, so I remember that. And, um, yeah, it was just kind of a match made, you know, mm-hmm. whenever, whenever it came down to it. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Vic underscore Romero 06 asked the hardest city to play in. Definitely Philly, yeah. but not yeah. as a visitor, as a Philly player. <laughs> like, right. No doubt. Right. Dude, we were 8 0 playing the Commanders. We were losing 10 to 7 at halftime. We got booed off the field so hard, bro. <laughs> like, it's like, dude, we're good. We're like, come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it was that. Like, they're ruthless. But it's also, you know, probably one of the best seasons to play in if you're, you know, doing good. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, yeah eight no's not good enough. Bro, yeah, right? Yeah. We want more. It's like what Dude. Jason Kelsey said in his uh, retirement press conference. He's like, Where? it's the greatest city to be in and play in, but it's also, they're going to hold you accountable. That's that's one way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you look at the video of Joey yeah. Bosa visiting when yeah. his brother played there, and he's basically fist really? fighting. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was pretty great. That, that was, was all that time. That was pretty great. All time. <laughs> he had him out of character. Those I make more money them. than you, loser. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. That's, you're, don't you're, engage. You're yeah. Just don't, don't engage. Oh, fuck. That's not a good. You're, yeah. you're building them up you're strong. Dude, that's like, 
<laughs> that guy, like, in Philly, like, culture, he's probably, like, elevated. The guy that was talking shit to Bosa, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's probably, like, doing pretty well for himself. Oh, my God. <laughs> now he owns a that. bar in He's hosting. Yeah. yeah. Hosting parties. Like. DJing. Doing really well. Oh, damn, yeah. everything. Nah. Man. Guy's a legend. Yeah. For yeah. <laughs> sure. That's funny. All right. Timmy the fourth says, does he eat the pizza crust or does he toss it? Depends, dude. Like, if you're really trying to eat a ton of pizza... Like, you don't want to skip out on, like, toppings that you're going to miss. Yeah. So, like, you'll skip the crust. But then at the end, if you're still hungry, you go back to the crust. Um, and some places have a great crust, so you never skip it. Yeah. Um, like, I enjoy a nice mellow mushroom crust, you know? It's mm -hmm. like they got a little garlic butter and some, like, Parmesan on there. Like, thanks. Like, you don't just get to the end and they're like, well, here you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this have is just... You know, it's good to see that they put in some effort, you know, to cover the whole pizza. Yeah. yeah. No, I, the crust, I think the crust is the most important part it of the pizza. It has to be the, yeah. the crust. The crust is shitty. That it yeah. fucks the whole pizza. Yeah, it's got to be a crispy. We yeah. need crust. Gardner to do pizza reviews after here. Oh, my God. Mm. Take oh, you around 100%. Vegas, maybe do a couple okay. reviews like you're So I do, I do like gluten free now. Wow. You know, I don't like telling everybody that it's pretty lame. I don't say it at like <laughs> restaurants. Proud like, of it. If they're like, if they're like, you have any allergies? Like, no. No. <laughs> But just order oh, something else. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, exactly. yeah. It looked like right. a lame. Well, yeah. then we'll just take the van around to Vegas and just hit up gluten. It's on every yeah. pizza menu. No, now. I was going to say it's hip now. So yeah, it's on every good. pizza menu. It's, it's the like keto. Crust pizza Keto's out there. a thing. No, too it's, now. Yeah. it's a big thing. I'm it's a good, it's a good time it. to be GF, you know? Yeah. 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 It's a good time. Came along at the right time. Yes, you did. All right. Two more. Zaya209 says How does it feel being on the same team as Max instead of going against him? Feels pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, honestly, um, dude, maybe one of the like craziest plays like I saw like up close and personal. We were running like this split zone. I was handing it off and the tight ends going back to like <laughs> slice him. And he does this like wah, wah, panther move and like dives and tackles the running back for like minus four. Mind you, I'm at five, so I'm handing the ball off, like, right here. And it's, like, handoff tackle. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's well, you know, so not to have to worry about that, like. It's nice. Yeah. It's no, it's good. good, dude. For real. Hell yeah. For it's real. Good. We're, yeah, we're off to a good Dude, start. that was one of the crazy. That was, like, that was wild, for real. There's, like, a like a leopard jumping on a gazelle or something. Like, like Trey Sermon. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it was, it, was, it was too fast to, like, do anything. <laughs> like. You're just like. Fuck. Yeah. So. Impressive. It happened. Yeah. You know? Leaf no liquid. more of that. Yeah, we're good. For that. <laughs> All right, last one. We got Eric Delk 209. Will we ever see the mustache again? Dude, it's, it never, like, leaves, really. You just got it. It just grew, I grow out the, like, shrubbery around. Um, <laughs> like, so there's still a good base of mustache. Yeah, I think they just want, like, they want the spotlight on the mustache. Yeah. Like a solo yeah. thing. What's the ratio yeah. stash to beard that you like to keep? Uh, So I just, like, shave, like, every, like... When my beard gets long and itchy, then I'll shave it down to a mustache again yeah. and just start the cycle over pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's kind of generally the same outlook for haircuts. Start looking like a uh, caddy on Happy Gilmore. <laughs> All right, let's uh, <laughs> dial it back a little bit. You yes. know? Yes. So yes. You think out being out in the desert is going to change your approach to this? Like the hair it's hot all See, the fucking time no but it's so windy i think it's gonna be sick like yeah, honestly just, just every you time know, the photo ready just gonna be whistling <laughs> just the whole time i'm walking around you know blowing in the wind little bro. hair yeah. whispers in my yeah, yeah. 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 Right, that's, you're photogenic uh, for sure Thank that's you, all the rush mail we have <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. We appreciate the fans. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. shout out. Y'all are better than I am, dude. I'd never check my mail. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> bro, like what? Yeah. Mail? mail? Mail. We get it in the form of comments now. Yeah. So yeah. It's okay. That's good. Well, that's yeah, actually a good sure. point. So you live in the, when you live in the van, how do you get your mail? I don't. And like, you know what happens? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like, I miss out on some freaking coupons. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, somebody, someone sending some direct mailers, try to. Get you to sign up for something. Yeah, you know, card. some AC replacements or some termite, you know, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like you know. Yes. It generally goes on without it. You're not yeah. a spender, are you? Not, not especially. No. If you're gonna um, splurge, what is it? The van was like my. That was kind of. <laughs> okay. Um, that was me really doing it. Okay. Um, <laughs> generally, man have a good knack of just picking up like free clothes and like yes. free food at the facility. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it helps keep expenses pretty, pretty 
pretty tight. Hell yeah. Uh, what advice would you give your younger selves on preparing for a big change in your life? Man, I think one of the biggest things is like, I think everybody's just resistant to change and change in general, good change, bad change, whatever. We have this tendency to like kind of shelter ourselves from it. I think, you know, being a guy that's been on different teams, gone everywhere, like just be open, you know what I'm saying? You like really don't know what you like or don't like till you try it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, talk to people, be open to new things, new experiences. Um, and yeah, just, you know, see everything that the opportunity has to offer. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like that. Yeah. Honestly, I think, you know, in life being uncomfortable, you know, being uncomfortable often is probably the best thing you can do for yourself. I think over the years that I've learned is I constantly am seeking those type of opportunities, you know, going in different meetings or different rooms that I normally wouldn't expect and not, you know, even interactions that I don't necessarily have to have. I like having those interactions because I know at the end of it, I'm gonna be like, I feel better about myself. So um, yeah, change, there's always gonna be change. You know, for me, I've gone from Eastern Michigan, you know, we were all at Eastern, then you go to Oakland, then we moved to Vegas. I've had all different type of, you know, journeys and streets that I've traveled, but I think the biggest thing is just embrace it. Um, if you avoid it and try to shelter yourself and you know, if you go into the situation with a negative mindset, more than likely it's going to be negative. Um, so my experience is just attack everything with the same mindset and embrace uh, uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. God, you guys are inspiring. <laughs> you know? Another word for Appreciate change, that. growth. Growth. Whatever it is. That's, Elevation. That's a Gus Bradley right there. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Give hey, with no intent of, to receive. Yes. That's, speaking that's of which, we all got some common roots here in Ipsy. My what? sister, Callie Minshew. All Mac volleyball player. Out of East. Shout out Eastern Michigan. What? what? Killing fuck? it. She's Not up there really. right now. What? Right now? The EMU Emus. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. She's there right now. Uh, yeah, she she just finished her last year. Uh, about to graduate with her masters. Turn awesome. up. Shout Good out. For her. But yeah, true dude. EMU. How fuck about yeah. it? Okay, so I've been out. Been in, I've been out in Depot you Town. The, oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. You see the Brick Man hold the. Yeah, the Brick Dick for sure. That was one of the. Take a picture or touch it? Nope. Nope. Didn't have to. I got it. You know, it's I just, saw it. It's in I there. was like, okay. It's <laughs> that's that's uh, about what you'd expect. It's from a the real name. thing. Yes. Yeah. No, Did that was like one of the. Oh. That was like the landmark. My sister. She's like, yes. break dick. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Doms. Oh Great God. tip on Doms, it. Doms, donuts. Doms. Um, where else? What's a, Golden what's, egg. What's the, what's yeah. the breakfast place? Bomber. Uh, bomber. The bomber. The bomber. Went to bomber where they just ah. serve you like a bucket a of food, bro. Just so much. Oh just food. four pounds of potatoes. Eight yeah. egg Anything. omelets. Yeah. Yeah. Darren, tell yeah. my Crazy. recruiting visit going to the bomber. I'm sick. I didn't eat. You didn't? No. I thought they made you sit there and no, try to I was make sick. you eat the whole thing. What? No, Why Pat did. That was Pat. Okay. Pat literally, I was sick naturally from the second day of... Or official visit, so I didn't <laughs> eat anything. I guess. Pat O'Connor <laughs> ate his bomber breakfast, which is like their eating challenge, and then ate everything that I had and didn't eat. That's sick. Yeah, he's, he was sick. Not in the good way. Yeah, no, but he's not in the good way. He's, that's at all. He could eat. Also not. Wow. Good. Yeah. That place is <laughs> legendary <laughs> though. Dave oh, Portnoy. Yeah. When during no, COVID, he, yeah, he farmed it or whatever he did. Yeah, he helped. Uh, I think he. I don't know. Yeah, he did, he, he donated, donated a lot yeah. of money. Wow, Got him back in business from the yeah Golden Egg too. Fire. That place okay. is fire. We gotta get back to Ipsy. We gotta yeah, come we, to, come to Ipsy yeah. with us too. Well, well to she's graduating, so I think my reasons for going mm. there are about like <laughs> they they that's fair. no vacation. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. The Eagle van Crest? would fit in well yeah. at Ipsy. Oh, that, 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 you could just oh, go yeah. straight, straight up the road to Ann Arbor. Dude, I think saying. the first time I ever saw furries was in Ipsy. Yeah, Dude. yeah. That was my first sure time. Enough. Same, no doubt about that. You get cultured. A lot of tails. I didn't know. A lot of tails. Didn't know that was. Furries? The ones that walk around the with the, with tails the and tears and the, e the ears, ears on their head? Yeah. Must not have been when I was there. Yeah, there was. Oh, they were yeah. there. Call oh, they were there. They were there. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. I got one last one because I submitted a fan question and it didn't get on there. Probably yeah. wasn't good. It's great. It's You're going to wait to hear it. Um, uh, ayahuasca, ever tried? Or would you ever? All right, so that wasn't like a great question, right? Like, I think we can all agree, like. <laughs> That's not a great know. question. Yeah. I didn't know what so I was going to expect. What's your stance on ayahuasca? Yeah, what's your stance? No, I've never done ayahuasca. <laughs> would you ever? Uh, I'm not, like, strictly opposed, I don't guess. Yeah. Um, have to know a little bit more. Yeah. I don't think I'm just ready to ship off to Peru, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's not in the future. Yeah, I don't know. Just... If it gets you throwing, you know, like six to one touchdowns, interceptions, maybe so. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Take that nah. little trip. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Nah. It was yeah. a hot topic there for I had to ask. Yeah. 
as a doppelganger. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. We'd probably want to do the yes. same drugs, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Ooh, yes. no I'm glad you understand me. Yeah. No, yes. No perfect. Doubt. Well, shoot. Shit. That is it. I mean, Garden. Mm. What? Uh, I already forgot your nickname. Guard dog. Guard dog. <laughs> we do our dog of the day, so our guard dog of the day. I mean, that might be a new segment on might the show. Be. Anything Jake. to help that catch on. Oh, like, <laughs> we're going to have guard it's dog actually, merch. You owe me this price. You'll, you'll definitely <laughs> get most of the proceeds. I mean, turn up. You already know. Out. Yeah. But we appreciate you, bro. No, You're a legend. You, we're dude. excited. Uh, obviously, we're going to be in the same locker room, go win a lot of football games. Raider Nation, I know you guys are watching. We got a guard dog in the building. Oh, and, uh, oh, bro, bro, bro. and we're very excited. So we love you. Appreciate you, Garner. Yes. Shout out, out Eight Thank Lounge, you. really quick. Shout out, oh yeah. Also, shout out Eight Lounge, Giuseppe Bravo, Eight the Lounge. owner, Let's go. absolute legend. Um, Resorts World. Appreciate you guys for giving us an uh, incredible venue. If y'all validate parking, let me know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That too. Condor Cartel, the whole Rush fan base, Raider Nation, all the fans tuning in on a daily basis. We love you guys. We are going to be moving to Tuesdays, so tune in. We're going to be dialed in, having more guests, more experiences, more locations. But we just want to let you guys know we appreciate all the love and support. Like, subscribe, comment, follow all uh, every single account on the social medias. Um, and we appreciate all the love and support. We are just getting started. We are building. We're growing. And we're going the right direction. And it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So go Raiders and go Rush. Walk up in play. Yeah, I'm really Talking my shit like Turn really him on God Walk up in his light Yeah I'm really him Talking my shit like Turn really him